Hello everybody, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool tutorial. This tutorial will teach you how to convert three phase amps to watts or watts to three phase amps. In the first example, our known values are going to be 5000 watts and our voltage is going to be 240 volts. So to begin with, we take and our unknown are amps. So amps are going to be equal to 5,000. Now never forget, when you have something in parentheses, you must do everything in parentheses first. So it is going to be 5,000 divided by 1.732 times our voltage was 240. So we end up with amps are equal to 5,000 divided by 400 and 15.68. If you stick that in your calculator, you will come up with amps are equal to 12.03. In the next example, we are going to convert our known amperage into watts. So our known value is 12 amps. So 12 amps are going to be equal to, watts is what we do not know, divided by, and do not forget to do everything in the parentheses first. So it's 1.732 times our voltage was 240. So if we do the math on this, we come out with amps are equal to watts divided by 415 0.68. Now to figure this out, all we do is we multiply each side by 415.68. So 415.68 times 12 is equal to watts. Now when we do multiply by 415.68 and divided by 415.68, they cancel each other out. So we are done on that side we end up with 4,988 are equal to the watts. Now 4,988, um, just round that up to 5,000 watts. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Now if you don't want to mess with all this math, and you want a super cool mobile app, get our app. It, it'll save you all the time. It has auto calculators that can figure everything you can possibly imagine in the HVAC world. You can also get our super cool slide rule tool. Now stay tuned for a short uh, description on what our slide rule tool will do. It is an incredible tool. It will save you countless hours in frustration. Thanks again. Hello. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. 
Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.